All right, what's going on guys? So we're gonna wrap, we're gonna take this piece of vinyl and wrap this wheel face right here. Now, vinyl has its place when it, when it comes to wrapping wheels. In order to do full coverage on this, it would take a lot more time, but this is gonna be pretty speedy. So I've already, these wheels are in really rough shape, by the way, so you can see that. And they were, they were just wrapped. So they've been wrapped for over two years and they're still holding on. So if there's any question about integrity of the film, don't have to worry about it. Now, what I did is I cut a piece generally to the size of a wheel. As you can see, my wheel shape sucks. So, but it's pretty close. This is gonna help a little bit when it comes to getting the vinyl in there because obviously look at this face, it's recessed in the lip. So it being recessed makes it a little bit more difficult because the vinyl is gonna wanna get hung up on here, here, and here. So what we need to do is kind of get it placed in there in a good spot. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna thoroughly clean your wheels, all right? So it looks like we're good. I've already thoroughly cleaned these wheels. This is so basic, guys. Like, this couldn't get more basic than what it is right now. So. So we're just gonna do that. Probably don't even need any heat. The wheel, the wheel is actually cold right now. It's super cold, actually. And we're just gonna push it down to the edges. I'm gonna go over it with heat afterwards just because, you know, I like to. It's good, good practice. And just kind of like make sure everything looks nice and tight and symmetrical. So again, we're gonna go down here. So it's pretty close. I don't have excess amounts of film, but I do have just enough to have full coverage. And here. I'd say each one of these probably take me like 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on what you want to do. So the nice part about this is that he wants to keep, the customer wants to keep like a two-tone finish and keep some chrome on the wheel. Not just have the lip, but have also the chrome in between the spokes. It's not my idea, it was his. I didn't have to sell him on it or anything, that's just what he wanted. So again, there's a place for this. And this two-tone finishes are not for everyone, that's for sure. But just like having a solid finish is not for everyone. So as you can see, all I did was work the film into that area right there. I'm gonna grab a wrap glove and my heat gun. I should have had it ready, but I didn't. All right, the heat gun is just over here and we're gonna do this. That's the easy part. The hard part, cutting it nice and straight, all right? So I'm gonna go over this, make sure there's no air in anything. We wanna finish off the center section. So we just push down as evenly as we can. And I'm gonna run the heat gun over all of it. So great little idea, great little uh, kind of like a quick fix DIY. If you want to dress up your wheels a little bit, this could be the way to do it. Look, if you had black, black wheels, this would be totally awesome because you're not going to see the black. You're just going to see the color that you put on the front. And it's going to be a nice, in my opinion, a nice two-tone. It depends on what you want to do. You know, this person wants... This customer wants to be a little flashy, so we'll keep a little flash and, and add a little color. I mean, it's kind of, I think it's cool that the wheels will match the car 100% perfectly. So, that's the other easy part. Let's do the difficult part, all right? So the difficult part is going to be, and I'm gonna look at the other wheels, see how far in I gotta go. Not far. Just cut, cutting all this out, all right? So you're gonna grab this a little bit and just keep a little tension on it. And you can see when I'm cutting, I'm keeping the blade on the edge. So watch when I cut these ones, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut these into tabs. Let's cut this one into a tab. 
And I'm just going to be able to grab onto these tabs now and keep a little tension on, on it. The ones in between here have a lot of tension on it, so I don't really have to worry too much about cutting. We're just going to run our blade down the side of the spoke. Okay, super basic stuff. Until we get to the edge. Now, I'm going to go here. Same concept. Okay. And then for here, the folks, I would move my, I would position myself a little bit better, but I want to show you guys on camera. Did not cut through. There we go. Cool. So after we're done, we're going to go over all these edges with heat. So again, let's do this, cut a tab. And then I'm going to hold this. And I'm going to start somewhere around here. I'm going to move over here. Body positioning is really important. We want to make sure that we're putting ourselves in a good spot to be able to do this. I need a new, oh, there we go. Okay. So again, I'm gonna hold it up. And I wanna hold it off the side of the wheel. Keeping tension on it. If I keep tension on it, we'll get a straight cut. Because all I'm doing is putting tension on it and pulling it right up to the top of the edge there. This one already has tension on it, like I said, so we don't have to hold this one. Also, having a blade that retracts like this is good because you can adjust as you go along. Again, keep tension on this one now. There we go. I gotta fix that one over there a little bit still, but we'll do that after. So again, for here, as soon as I get to that point, make my tab. Did not cut through here. There we go. switch hands or do the opposite way. I'm not trying to do these particularly fast, I'm just walking you through it. Lock it up, brother. This car? No, no, it's staying. Okay. Yeah. Actually, no, leave. Which car do you want me to bring inside? I have to bring one more car inside tonight. The one of my cars, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're getting there. You can see it's starting to make some progress. Once we go over the edges with a little bit of heat and round them out, we're gonna look, it's gonna look super pretty.
again, all we're doing is keeping the back of the blade on the wheel, all right? That's, that's the key to it all. No idea what that sound is. I thought it was somebody's horn. <laughs> Clown horn. All right, let's start. A little bit more. You going to put the tire to the car tonight? Yes, I have to put these tires on the car tonight, yeah. All right. So what do you think so far? It looks all right, huh? I didn't cut a tab here, which I should have. Let's do another one here so I don't forget. Extra bit. I'm just gonna trim it off. As far as like professional professionalism goes or professional level goes, um, this is not professional level stuff. All right, anybody could do this. If you can do arts and crafts, you can do this. Because all we're doing is running the blade on the inside. And if you just do it the way I'm explaining it, you'll do totally fine at it. So we're almost at the end. Personally, I'm slightly surprised at how well the vinyl is sticking to this, considering these wheels are pretty corroded. But hey, if it works, it works, right? some heat, smooth out all the edges. I'm not even going to use a glove for this. No. Do I recommend anything? I heard you ask that. Do I recommend anything to clean them with? Well, I would say just clean them with a good soapy bath and then get in there with a little bit of ISO, isopropyl alcohol. I've been using, I've been taking 99% and diluting it. You can take 70% and not dilute it, totally up to you. Personally, for this style wheel, I think I think the two-tone effect does look pretty awesome, and it's going to look pretty boss on the car. So, so just want to lock it all in.
We've got a little bit to trim up here. And we're done. Actually, let's fix this one up too. I'm gonna trim back a little bit here. Perfect. So we'll have Christina give you a nice little bird's eye view. Pretty awesome, right? So stand them up. So we got one done. We got three more to do. Was it difficult? No. But it comes out pretty looking pretty sharp and it's gonna look pretty sharp on this blue 7 Series BMW as you can see right there. Even though the wheels are corroded, I think it's just gonna bring out a nice effect to the whole thing. And uh, you know, maybe they can be polished. I don't know enough about wheels to do that, but hey, that's not my thing. Anyways guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, take care.